G'day guys and welcome back. A few years back, well, quite a lot of years back, David Icke came out saying how people were lizards and lizard people were ruling the planet. This video has nothing to do with any of that. But this guy seems to think that there are human frogs, human sized frogs, giant frogs with human features. I have no idea what he's talking about. We're going to discover all that together. Enjoy. You can tell right off the bat that this is going to be a little bit crazy just going by that logo in the bottom left hand corner. Ah, oh, there's nothing I can say to prepare us for this. Let's just dive on in. Spooky. Yo, yo, it's Weefu with the Scroll Screen. Welcome back. Yo, just a quick video here of two images that I stumbled upon this morning of what I can only describe as a giant frog or a toad. Um, how, how can you tell it's giant? Like you have, have nothing there to compare it against. Like it's close to the camera and there's nothing else there for perspective. Like, well, We'll see where you go. Mm. See what we can find out. Dig a little deeper about this little froggy boy. I'm still having trouble properly identifying this animal. This was apparently recently pulled from a lake in Truihu, a village in Peru. Some bars there. Most of the people are saying that this is just a bullfrog. Hmm. So, pulled from Lake Titicaca. There is a frog native to Lake Titicaca and it is quite large and it is called the is it Timotobius coolius or <clears throat> Lake Titicaca frog it's huge well it's 20 centimeters. That's head to butt. Add the legs in, 60 centimeters, thereabouts. Like when you stretch the legs out. A two second Google search would have told you that. You've got the information right here. Lake Titicaca, frog. Anyway, continuing on. The bullfrog is native to eastern North America. Its natural range extends from the Atlantic coast north to Newfoundland to as far as west Oklahoma and Kansas. It is not found on offshore islands near Cape Cod and is largely absent from Florida, Colorado, Nebraska, South Dakota and Minnesota. While this frog in question was pulled from Lake Titicaca in South America, Lake Titicaca straddles a border between Peru and Bolivia in the Andes Mountains. It's the Andes Mountains, but that doesn't really matter. And it looks nothing like a bullfrog. You can see its face looks nothing like a bullfrog. So we can rule out bullfrog straight away. Its hands, I'll put some pictures up of what a living one of these looks like. This is, the way they're strung it up like this is disgraceful, honestly. Like, it's, yeah, it's not cool. America. Lake Titicaca straddles a border between Peru and Bolivia in the Andes Mountains and is one of South America's largest lakes and has the world's highest body of water. I can't find any information on bullfrogs in South America or Lake Titicaca, but I did find information on the BBC website from 2020 about five scientific institutions joining forces in a cross-border effort to preserve the Lake Titicaca giant frog, which we are seeing now and it looks nothing like the animal I'm presenting in this video. It looks identical to what you've presented in this video. That face, those hands, those feet, they are completely identical. How you don't see that is beyond me. 
you're just spreading misinformation here on purpose. The giant frog is on the verge of being extinct due to locals capturing these frogs and mixing them into a drink called frog juice, which is sold on some local markets in the area. That sounds tasty. So the next frog we looked up is the Goliath frog, one of the world's largest frogs that can only be found in West Africa. And as you can see, these large frogs have a yellow underbelly and they've never been spotted in the Truihu or the Peru area. Again, they look completely different and to the one in the photo as well. I'm no frog expert, but you can see identifying features of all of these frogs. I, I don't... I don't see how you can't see that. These images, if real, just do not add up. So it was apparently pulled out of South America's largest lake with the highest body of water in the world. Who knows what else is lying down there in the depths? No way am I claiming that these images are real, but they do look pretty bizarre and deep down I do want them to be real. Others suggest that this is a real frog, but the frog looks overly large due to perspective, a trick of the camera. Yes, that's exactly correct. The frog was right next to the camera. It's basically the opposite of that Father Ted sketch. It's basically the opposite of that Father Ted sketch. Uh, here's that clip. Okay, one last time. These are small, but the ones out there are far away. <laughs> Small, far away. But if you look at frogs or toads with red coloration on the skin, the smaller the frogs get, the more poisonous they become, indigenous to rainforests and venturing further out from the Peru Bolivia area. What's that got to do with anything? No mention of this frog's toxicity, venom, poison, anything has ever come up. And the. The colour of a frog doesn't make it poisonous. That's just... Anyway. I just wanted your guys' opinions on this one. Is it Photoshop, the real thing? If it is real and the size is accurate, then these two images, to me, are fascinating. The information is accurate. It is from Lake Titicaca. It is the Lake Titicaca frog. It is really close to the camera, so it's perspective making it look large. I don't know what else to tell you. Like, you want there to be conspiracy here? Because there isn't one. What do you think? Let me know in the comment section down below and I'll get back to you ASAP. Legends. Yes, I'll let you know in the comments below with a link to this very video. I hope you enjoy it. As fascinating as that was, it is quite a shame that these giant frogs are an endangered species. And it's not only these giant frogs. Uh, recently, you may have seen an article about a, another baby-sized giant frog found in the Solomon Islands. They are also endangered because they're called bush chickens. They like to eat them and they say that bush chicken is wrong because they taste better than chicken. It sucks that these creatures are going extinct because of hunting and overhunting and people drinking them for God knows what. What possesses a person to put a frog in a blender and go, oh, I'm going to drink this? What is wrong with you? You know why aliens don't visit us? This is why aliens don't visit us. Anyway. Thank you all so much for watching. I do hope you enjoyed this video. And as always, a special thank you to Purple Haze, Caustic, and Lisa, as well as my other Patreon supporters. You can add your name to that list if you join Patreon. It doesn't matter if you don't. I'm not going to shame you. The guilt will eat away at you though. Always. Or go buy some merch. There's a lovely organic tea over there. You'll understand when you see it. Anyway, until next time, friends, remember, don't be a dick.